Oh, rope light. Oh, oh, yep, that whole thing. Deep. I walked towards the stairs. Didn't like that at all. Oh no. This has not gone off all night, and now it's going nuts. That's because I heard a voice. I literally just heard a voice from over here. I heard a voice come from this room. Won't leave. We can hear you. All right, guys, welcome back. Tonight we're in Ohio, we're at the Beale Manor. This location is brand new to the paranormal, but even still already has a ton of claims of activity. So it's crazy, the owner actually purchased this to live in this house. Um, he came here, he realized it was so active, and he ended up moving into his old house, and he's going to use this as like a paranormal research center. He's an investigator, and it scared him out of here, yeah. so that shows you how active it is. It was too intense for him to live here. I mean, yeah. he bought this as his grand mansion he wanted to restore and move into. He was not buying it because he thought it was haunted. He didn't know anything about this place. He thought it was this big old house that he wanted to live in. Yeah. But it was too intense for him, and he actually, like you said, had to stay in his old house, which is crazy. So we're gonna do some solos here tonight. Um, so I think we have our work cut out for us. I think we need to get inside, so he wants to talk to us. We'll throw everything at him and see what sticks. Yeah, let's, let's do go. It. All right, guys, before we jump into the investigation tonight, we wanna fill you in on a little bit of the history here at Beale Manor. The house actually sits very close to the site of Fort Stevenson. And during the War of 1812, there was a pretty bloody battle right down the street here. 27 men died between the British and American sides and 30 went missing. In the 1890s, a gentleman by the name of Jerome Beale actually built this home for him and his family. He was a prominent piano and jewelry shop owner here in downtown, and by the time of the 1920s, he and his family wanted to move to Minnesota, so they sold the home to Clarence and Daisy Wolf, who ended up passing away in the home. Now, during the Wolf's time here, they would actually use the house for funerals for their friends and family. After Daisy's passing in 1966, the house would be sold to the Lucas County Children's Center, which would turn it into a group home for children with developmental disabilities, illnesses, and kind of just throw away kids. People that their parents didn't want them, they might have gotten in some kind of trouble, they would all be sent to this one location. During the time of the group home, there's actually reports of a suicide or an accidental death in the home, as well as all of the other deaths from illness during that time as well. Now the group home would actually run until the 1990s before shutting down. After closing, it would operate as a bed and breakfast all the way until 2009. The first family that bought it after the bed and breakfast only lived here for about a year before moving, and nobody really knows why. The current owner, Carlo, has only had the house for about a year. He bought it last July, so he hasn't had it that long. But during that time, he's been able to uncover some crazy paranormal activity happening here at the Beale Manor. Now down in the basement, there's been many reports of physical attacks. People are being bitten, scratched, and even pushed. Now they don't believe it's anything demonic or negative. They actually think it may be the spirit of a child from the developmental home reaching out for some sort of attention, but not really knowing how to. Here on the first floor, there's a chair that you can sit in in one of the sitting rooms that makes people so violently ill, they've had to leave investigations. You can also reportedly hear disembodied voices down here and footsteps from above you. Now, when you get up to the second floor, which is supposed to be one of the most haunted areas in the building, there are many reports of this small shadow figure darting in and out of the bedrooms and down the hallways, along with disembodied footsteps and voices in the room you're in, and people even playing with your toes while you're trying to sleep. Now, this place is really, really new. So we're gonna throw everything we have at it. We don't really know what to expect tonight, but I feel like we're gonna have a pretty good night here at the Beale Man. We've been doing a lot of these places that are newer to the paranormal field recently, and none of them have let us down. So I'm excited, we're gonna grab everything. We're gonna hit each floor in this building and kind of see what we can uncover here uh, inside Beale Manor. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. All right guys, so we're gonna start out in the basement. We're gonna do an Estes session down here. The owner actually said the Estes method works really good down here. If you don't know what the Estes is, I'm going to put on these headphones, uh, plugged into a spirit box and put on a blindfold. That way I'm not biased to any questions that Steve's going to ask. I'm gonna repeat whatever I hear through the spirit box and see if we can have a conversation that way. Um, hopefully it makes it a little bit easier for them, but I say we just get right into it. That's the weird thing about this place, right? Like we only have what he says to go off of and he's yeah. only been investigating here since he bought it in July. So it's a very small sample size. We don't yeah. know what goes on down here. They have a thing called the biter down the biter, here. biter, yeah. Um, they believe it to be a child from when it was a developmental home. Mm -hmm. um, they just don't know if he knows how to communicate any other right. way. So that's how he's going to get your attention, bite you, scratch you, pull your clothes. That happens a lot down here. They don't think it's anything evil or demonic or anything like that. Right. Um, they do believe it to be the spirit of a child from that time period. But he's been known, like I said, to bite people and scratch people. I think he said six guys have gotten bit down yeah. here and seven women have been scratched. Something like that, yeah. Um, and it's dark down very, here, guys. I'm going to show you guys. Look how dark it is. Ready? Because we film in IR, guys. We don't have any lights attached to our cameras. I cannot see Dylan on this camera. So Great. That's the spirit box light you can see on his lap right there. So I'm gonna go over here. We also have a REM pod set up. I'm gonna turn on and we have the EMF rope out in the hallway. So I'll show you guys that while he gets ready and uh, we'll go from there. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm gonna turn this REM pod on guys. Just show you guys, this is what I'm gonna be hearing. Just scans through the radio. Oh, that's actually really cool. 
It sounded like it just said hi. Really? I had it right up to my mic too. That's crazy. All right, so the run pod's there. Yeah, my... All right, headphones going on. Can you step away from that so it stops making that noise? Leave. Who's there? My name's Steve. I'm, not, I'm already gonna turn this off. I'm just gonna They're new. I'm gonna turn this off quick. We are new. We are new. So the way this works, Dylan, who's sitting in this chair to my left, he has headphones on. He can hear everything you're saying. If you go up to him and talk to him, he'll relay that message to me. All right, guys, we're gonna go just Spirit Box for right now. Just Dylan's Estes session. We're above? Because there's a lot going on and the EMF is acting weird. And I don't know if it's just something messing with it down here in the basement. Um, I don't think it's, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Sound like you just said both of our names. It said we're above. You're above us, are you upstairs? You're on the second floor? Or the first floor? You know who built this house? They never stop. What never stops? Won't leave. That was like a weird voice. That was like an older man's voice. I feel like I'm hearing footsteps out there. Are you on the hallway? Either get down or get out. I'll sit down a little bit. Is this better? Again, I just turned off the EMF rope and the REM pod because I think there's some kind of interference down here. 17. So I'm not gonna use them. Are you 17? Again, the age would have been up to about 17 or 18 that the, the kids would have been housed here during the developmental uh, home days. Men? 17 men? It feels weird down here, guys. Homestead. Homestead. What do you Found know? you? What do you know about the homestead? Who's biting people and scratching people down here? I'm right here. Are you the one doing that? My brother? Something, it got cut off. Is your brother here with you? They're here. Hi. Who's here? Sound like I said Philip, Philip something. It was like a full name. I couldn't make out the last name though. Philip. Yes. Is that your name? Are you Philip? It's got that weird feeling down here where you feel like you're being watched. Like I feel like I'm being watched from that area, but I also feel like there's stuff over by Dylan. Like it feels really uncomfortable down here. Not something that I was expecting for, at least not the first session in this house. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful house. It feels off down here. It really does. I just heard a female voice. I just heard a female voice and it wasn't, I just heard a female voice and it was not from his sphere box. It sounded like it was out there and it was like, it was like a hum almost or like a moan. Did I just hear you? Is there a woman out there? There's just a footstep out here. Hello? Sound like said Steve. That's my name. Seven. Seven. Oh, good. There's just another noise out there. Here? Who's here? There's a lot. So like I said, I'm Steve. It's like an older man's voice. You're Steve. Are you the spirit they see upstairs, the redheaded boy? Toddler. There's footsteps out there. Are you walking around out there? Like I'm waiting for somebody to walk around that corner. Who's out there? We're good. You're good? We see you. Come in. 
I don't think I will. I think I'm going to stay in here. You can see me? What color shirt? That was weird. It sounded like a woman's voice. It was like, we're all dead. Oh. Well, that's comforting. That way. We're going to move upstairs in a little bit. Are there people upstairs waiting to talk to us? So like two different people just said my name. So you know Dylan. You said Steve. I don't know if you're talking about somebody that's here or if you're talking about me. September? Is it September for you? Is that what month it is? We got out or we get out. Do you get out of here in September? Is that when you get to yes. leave? Yes, you get to leave. Oh, that was, that was a really weird voice. You get to leave here in September? Or that's when you got out of here was September? There's just like a voice under the static. That was really weird too. Great. We're gonna move upstairs soon. Can you answer a couple of my questions before we go? I got a couple questions for you. Don't. Don't what? Don't go upstairs? No. It was like drawn out like that. Why do you want us to stay down here? Are you lonely? Is that why you want us to stay down here? Do people not come talk to you a lot? Oh, I just felt a... Uh, I just felt a cold breeze on the back of my neck. Like Six? It, it made the hair on my arm stand up. I don't know if you can see it on here. Whew. That was a cold... It They're laughing? It felt like a cold breeze. Are you laughing at me? Oh my God, I wish you could see my, I don't know if you can see my goosebumps. That's actually crazy. That was a cold breeze on the back of my neck. It literally felt like a window was open right on my neck. Did you just move behind me? Did you just come near me? It's okay if you did. I just want to know if that was you. Homestead? It's the second time you said homestead. What do you mean? Go back. Go back to the homestead? Why do we need to go back to the homestead? Are you from the homestead? That doesn't make sense. Did you follow us here from the homestead? God, there's that cold breeze again. It I need a way out? A way out of here? Someone just like whispered. I can't tell what it said. It was a man's voice, but that was weird. Yeah, this basement is icky. No offense, I'll take anybody down here. But I don't love it down here. I do not love it down here. I don't know if I want to love it upstairs either, but I definitely don't love it down here. We're gonna move upstairs. So can you say goodbye or see you later? Could you do that for us? What is that? What is that? I just thought I saw movement out there. Oh, that was weird. Sorry. Was that you? Did I just see you? It literally, I, don't, I, don't, I didn't see it on the camera. I saw it like with my own eyes out there. There's a little bit of ambient light coming from an outside window and it literally just looked like movement. I'll like, bring you up. Like someone just moved across. You'll bring us up? Is that you leading us upstairs? Because we said we were going upstairs. That was so crazy actually. That literally looked like a, like just somebody walked right like that because there's an ambient light in that hallway and it just blocked right out like somebody walked by it and they said, I'll bring you up. Are you bringing us upstairs? Are you following us up? Are you bringing us upstairs, leading us up to the next floor? Is that what you're doing? We'll follow you. Just say yes. Or that's me or anything like that. Let us know that was you that I saw. And then you're leading us upstairs to the next floor to talk to us. Let us know that was you. Please. I can't believe I saw that. Go up. All right, we're gonna go up. Was that you I saw though? Are you leading us upstairs? We're gonna go up, I promise. I just wanna know if that was you, so we know who we're following. Are you leading us upstairs to talk to us? Or to bring us to people that will talk to us? 
All right, so before we go upstairs, I just want to describe, again, kind of how it feels down here. It feels off, it feels weird, it feels uncomfortable. It feels like, so I'm looking out this doorway over here in front of me, and I, it feels like every time like I go to turn, like I turn towards Dylan, every time I go to look that way, I just get this that hurt, super strong feeling, like a super strong feeling that something is, hey. gonna, something is just gonna rush, like rush into my face, I don't know why. Like I'm looking at this door, but every time I turn over here, it feels like I'm just gonna turn around and somebody's gonna be like right there in my face. Like that's the kind of feeling it is down here. It's really uncomfortable. Like really, really uncomfortable. It's almost like um, like anticipating like a jump scare kind of thing, like where I think as I turn, I'm gonna see somebody rushing at me. I don't like it. Um, but it's time for us to move upstairs anyways. We're gonna come back down here. Somebody's gonna do a solo down here later. We're not sure who it's gonna be. Maybe it'll be Dylan, maybe it'll be me. Um, but we're gonna move up to the next floor now and do some EVPs and try some other equipment up there. Um, but what a weird first session. Really uncomfortable down here. Really, really weird. I'm gonna pull him out. Good Lord. Sorry. And that makes sense? Yikes. Yikes? It's awful down here. What do you mean? It's just really uncomfortable. Did you feel that breeze? Yes. It's so yes. cold down here. It was, but it didn't happen. So when you felt it, I yeah. didn't feel it. It was probably, I don't know, five, 10 minutes later, I felt it directly on the back of my neck. It felt like somebody opened a freezer on the yeah, back of my neck. That's it, like I felt it with my hands and then just. It was weird. Um, movement, footsteps out there. I had to turn off the EMF rope and the REM pod because I think there's some kind of interference down here. Okay. They just wouldn't stop going. Right. They were just pinging, so I just turned them off so we could focus on this. Um, but you were answering some questions. You said a lot of weird stuff. You said homestead a couple times. Yeah, that was um, weird. Because the first time it was a man's voice and the second time it was a woman's voice. I saw a shadow out there in that oh. doorway. It looked like somebody like moved across the hall. Oh, good. Um, and then you said, go up. And that's when I was just saying, we're going to come upstairs. And I said, are you leading upstairs? And you said, you got to go up. Okay. So, um, and then I was describing like the feeling down here was really, really awful. It felt like, because I was looking at that doorway. Mm. And it felt like every time I turned to look towards you, it, I, it was like almost anticipating a jump scare from a, like, a, like a haunted house. Like behind me? Not even behind you though. Oh. Like I'm standing way over there. Yeah. And so it's like I'm looking out that doorway, and it was literally like the anticipation of a like a like a haunted house. Something so like, Yeah. Every time I turned to look, I expected something to be like, like rushing at me or like yeah. jump. Like it was just that kind of feeling. It was a really awful sensation. Um, so we're gonna go upstairs. Let's do some EVPs. We'll try some more equipment up there. Yeah. Um, and we'll just move on. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, guys. We moved up to the first floor. Now we're kind of in the main living room entrance area. Um, we have stuff set up everywhere. We have a REM pod set up over in Daisy's room. We have another REM pod set up in this room right here. We have the EMF rope going up the stairs here. We have the Mel meter set up over there in that sitting room with the chair that makes people sick. We have a lot of people getting violently ill after sitting in that chair. Yeah. Um, and then we have the music box pointing down this hallway towards the kitchen. So we're gonna do some EVPs up here. Um, we're gonna try to get them to use some of this, act, uh, some of this equipment that we have set up whether it's the EMF rope, whether it's the you know, Mel meter or whatever. Right. And then we'll just go into EVP, see if we can get them to talk. Um, I specifically want to do some in that room. Mm -hmm. Where people get violent. Near the know. chair. Yeah. And then I also kind of want to do some in Daisy's room as well, um, see if we can get any reaction in there. So yeah. why don't we head over this way first and see Start if we can kind of get anything going on. Yeah. All right. So again, Mel meter set up right there. That chair on the end is the one that people have been getting sick in. Um, so we'll do some EVPs in here in a minute. Maybe put the recorder in the chair. See if we can pick up anything. Yeah. Right. Um, but they also say that they have stuff going up and down the stairs. They'll get the EMF rope going off as well. So. so right after he actually purchased the house, he said he heard someone like running up and down the hallway upstairs. Yeah. So I wonder if that's residual, if that's something we can pick up on just being here. Or right, because it does have a lot of history. I mean, the yeah. 1800s, um, and then you have the, the developmental home that was here for a while, the number of funerals that were in the house. I mean, there's a lot of emotion, a lot of stuff that's gone on here. So yeah. it could be anyone from any time period. Um, but he heard somebody coughing while he was upstairs as well. So he's heard a lot of weird stuff kind of in the centralized area of the house, you know, mm -hmm. from this point upstairs and from upstairs down to this area as well, yeah. which would make sense because this would have been the main focal point, main, you know, Highest entryway yeah. of the house. So if there's anybody here with us tonight, we have a ton of devices set out. All they do is make some noise and light up when you get close to them. We'd love to have a conversation with you. Learn about your life here, the history of this home, anything you want to talk about. Nothing we have here should hurt you. We're not here to hurt you. 
We're here to talk to you and just communicate, learn about your life. You're not in trouble. You don't have to leave. We would love to talk with you. If you can hear our voice, can you make a noise for us? What was that? Uh, upstairs? Yeah. Like a thud? Knock on a wall, stomp your feet, run down a hallway. Loudest noise possible that you can make. Hello? Oh, rope light just oh, went. Yep, that whole thing. Deep. I walked towards the stairs. Yeah. And all of it goes off. It was like someone was coming down the yep. stairs and we scared them away or something. Don't be afraid. Can you come downstairs so we can talk to you a little bit? You just set off those lights on the stairs. That's pretty cool, right? Can you do that again? How fast can you run down the stairs? You won't get in trouble for doing it. Could you open a door, close a door? Move something? Do you want us to back up a little bit? Give you some room? Set off some of those lights. We'll give you some space. I know it's probably scary having new people come in, asking you questions. We're friends with Carlo. He owns the building now. He's gonna fix it up. Does that make you happy? Say so we go in there and try some DRCs. Try some EVPs, yeah. yeah. Try some EVPs over here by this chair. We have these devices in our hands. All they're gonna do is record your voice. If you come up to us and you speak into any one of these devices, we should be able to hear you. We can play it back and you'll be able to hear your own voice again. It's like a little silver box. We've been told that people that have been sitting in this chair have been getting kind of sick after. We don't know why. So what we're going to do is we're going to give you the floor. We're not going to ask any questions. We're going to let you talk. I'm going to set one of these little devices right in the chair, right here. If you can come up to it and tell us why people are getting sick in this chair, that would be amazing. If there's anything else you want to tell us, feel free. Your name, your age, what you like, what you don't like, why you're here. I'll set one over on the altar near the staircase too. Who's in charge? Anything you want to tell us, now is going to be your chance. I'm going to put one here. Dylan's going to put one over by the stairs. And then we're just going to let you talk, okay? You ready? Yep. One, two, three. Ready? One, two, three. Let's see if we got anything. Mine held for a little bit. I couldn't see mine on the chair. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot going on. Right before I... It's like, hey, don't... Don't, don't let them in. Play it again. Yeah. Don't let them. I can't tell what, says. Can't tell what that says. It's like, hey, don't let them yeah. something. I don't know what that says. That's weird, though. Hmm. Wow. 
Play that back. Get the f play that back. Lord Sound says, get the F, and then I can't. That's like all it says, get the F, yeah. Lord was like, get the f It didn't say out. No. It was just like, get the f And then, that's weird. That was it, though. Those are two really weird things, and they're completely yeah. different. Hey, don't let them something, something. and then get the f Expletive. That's it. That's kind of weird. What? What? That could even be like two residual conversations right. though, you know? I think we do a couple questions. Yeah. And then I think we do another quiet one. See if there's anything different. Right. All right. Same thing. You go over there, I'll go over here. Yeah. And you set yours on the chair? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm going well, to hold it by the chair. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Did you just say don't let them something? What don't you want us to do? Were you trying to tell us to get out? Do you want us to leave this place? Who's making people sick that sit in this chair? Can you tell us your name? One, two, three. It literally just felt like somebody ran their fingers down the back of my neck. Seriously? Oh, that was disgusting. Oh, that I mean, was actually, nothing, that was actually awful. There's nothing hanging from the ceiling. Oh, you know? I didn't like that at all. Oh, no. They said that's common though. That's very common. That Where was, are you standing? Just in this I'm literally just standing right here like this. Oh my god, that was awful. It literally felt like somebody went like this. Like it was like they went like this, like one, two, three, like right, like down, Ooh. like like that. Down the back of your neck. It wasn't like three fingers at one time. It was just kind of like you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Literally, like they went like that. That was awful. No huh. offense. A little bit of offense. Actually. <laughs> a little bit of offense. Huh? That that a little bit offensive. I didn't enjoy that. Upstairs is very dark too. Yeah, that I was. I looked up that staircase. Oh, that was really weird. I jumped. Yeah. I like actually jumped. That's Dickie. weird. Thanks. A, All right, let's play this back. Should bode well. Huh. Oh, that was actually really weird. Did you just say don't? Did you just say don't? I can't tell if it says get, get them. It's like get them or... It's two words, yeah. I can't, I can't tell. What don't you want us to do? Freak me out a little bit. Freak me out a little bit. Good thing we're not doing solos here. At least we're not on this floor. Right. Good beginning. Who's that? Oh, there you go. Were you trying to tell us to get out? Do you want us to leave this place? Say yes. Too clear. Weird. Yeah. Let's go over towards Daisy's room for a second. See if they want to talk See over there. See if Daisy's got anything to say. Yeah. Um, and then I think we do maybe one or two in here. Yeah. Um, and see if we can get anything. Because none of the equipment's gone off except for the, the rope that one time. Right. 
It was weird too. It was like as we were coming around the corner, yeah. someone was on the top. It was like of the it stairs. was like sitting there waiting, and we came in the corner. I was like, "Oh shit!" And then it left. Right. Like we surprised it almost. It's kind of weird. All right. I think we do a quiet one here, right yeah. off the rip. Same thing. Yep. Start with quiet. Do a couple questions. Yeah. Ready? Yep. One. One, two, three. Who was that? Yeah, what was that? It's like a woman, yeah. like. <gasps> yeah. Hello? Was Rope, it Rope, Rope play? Rope play just went off. I saw it reflect on the Literally on the stairs. Rope play just went off. I saw, it, I saw it bounce off the wall. Top one's going off. Hello? If you want to come down the stairs, feel free. That was weird. That was loud. And I just held it blue and then started going again. Hello? Who's up there? Can you run down the staircase, set all these off? Let me get out of your way. We have a couple other devices down here that you can use. If you're upstairs, can you walk around for us? Like a footstep. I can't tell if that's upstairs. I, or oh, you know what? It sounds like it, it sounds like something touching the doorknob. Oh, at the yeah. top of the stairs. That metal doorknob. That's pretty weird. Are you gonna open the door? Could you open that door for us on the top of the stairs? What was that? Could you open that door for us on the top of the stairs? What was that? Could you open that door for us on the top of the stairs? What was that? I just got chills. Who was that? Uh, I don't know. Hello? If you want to make a loud noise, can you open that door and slam it? Gently, it's an antique. Yeah, true. Can you knock like this? Again, I'm gonna knock, can you do this? Oh, this one right here. Right here by me. Yeah. Let's go in there quick and do those. Let's EVP. do an EVP session, Davies. We're gonna go into Daisy's room. I don't know what that voice was. That was loud. That sounded like a female. Yeah. That's like a, the third time we've heard a voice tonight. The other two were before we even started filming. Yeah. Good start. I thought I heard it again. I didn't hear it that time. It sounded female again. It sounds far away. Hello? Let's just, let's just do a quiet one first. Yeah. All right. Yep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Found that floorboard. Yeah, come on here with that board, yeah. Found that floorboard. All right. That's the floor. Yeah. Play the whole thing again. Floor. That's, That's the not floor. floor. Yeah. Get out. Get him out. It's like, it's get, like out. get out, get him out. Yeah. And then the floor. That's pretty weird. They don't seem very welcoming so far. Unless they're not talking about us. True. Cool. Play it one more time. Uh, 
What is that? You know, two distinct words though. him at the end too. That's a four. Yeah. Weird. Get him. Because well, they said out. Daisy was bedridden for yeah. a substantial amount of time yeah. at the end of her life. She couldn't really do anything. So what if she's asking for help? That's just like residual conversation. Right. Get, him, get out. him. Get us out. Or yeah. get him. Get us out. Because she help. sees us. Yeah. Weird. Let's do um. Ask a couple questions. Let's do a couple questions before we move upstairs. Yeah. I, that voice we heard was definitely upstairs, and then the rope plays on the stairs, yeah. leading upstairs. We heard the door sounds like moving upstairs, and then what that loud thud was, and then it sounded like footsteps. So there's a lot going on upstairs, which he said that yeah. landing, that hallway is, he hates that area. He doesn't like going up there by himself. Yeah, he said even during the daytime, I, right. we got here at like 7, it was broad yeah. daylight. He didn't want to go He said there. no. No. So, all right. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Hey, Daisy, are you in here right now with us? Somebody else is here. Can you give us your name so that we know how to address you? My name's Steve. This is Dylan. We don't mean to interrupt you. We don't mean to bother you. We just want to talk with you. Can you say hello? Do you know what battle happened close to here during the War of 1812? There's a lot of movement going on upstairs. Yeah, a lot of you footsteps. You just hear the movement upstairs the whole time. Yeah. Hey, Daisy, are you in here right now with us? What was that? What? I don't know which one it was. Oh, Rem. And then it stops. Yeah, we pay attention to it and it stops. And that hasn't gone off the whole That's time. That's crazy. If you're still out here, can you step up to that chair again and touch that device? Just like you just did. If you touch the top of it, it'll light up. It hasn't gone off the whole time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stand right here and play this back. That was like someone touching the top of it. Yeah, it was, it was like someone was trying to like sneak up around or get out of here. Yeah. Syllables. Yeah. Somebody else is here. Can you give us your name so that we know how to address you? I can't tell what that says. weird because there's almost a response after every single question on all the recordings but they're not crystal clear there's a couple that we can make out but a lot of them are kind of off in the distance right a little farther away which makes yeah. sense though because that voice was upstairs yeah so the footsteps are upstairs upstairs the only thing time. that's gone off down here has that that REM pod that one time for two seconds right nothing else the rope is going up the stairs yeah. the footsteps upstairs the door handle upstairs the voices everything is upstairs on the yeah. top floor where she's where he says the focal point of the activity is yeah so I think it's time. I think we go up there and uh, do some EVPs again. We'll try all the equipment again. Um, I mean, that music box hasn't gone off at all. No. And he said there's shadow figures upstairs, so we'll put it in that one hallway. 
Oh, goody. And we'll see what we can get upstairs, and then uh, it's time for solos. Fun times. Let's do it. Yep. Guys, really quick, if you're enjoying the video, make sure you drop down below, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. If we get 3,000 likes on this video, we're gonna go to Missouri State Penitentiary. So drop a like, let's get back in the investigation. All right guys, so we made it up to the second floor. So up here is uh, basically like the living space. When it was the developmental home, they had actually 20 uh, beds up here. So it was pretty occupied. Also in this hallway over here, they see a ton of shadow figures and stuff right down this hallway. So we have the music box set up, we have a mail meter in this doorway and REM pods in either doorway on each side. We also have a couple flashlights set up. One in the room there, one over here. And we do have the DR60s again, which we're going to do some EVP sessions because he said that there's a lot of activity up here, especially in this one particular area that we're in right now, kind of like this landing area towards that hallway. And it seems like all night they've been trying to draw us upstairs. Yeah, you were so. saying that in the SS, go up, you got to go up, you got to go up. We were hearing voices and footsteps up here while we were downstairs. Rope light going off on the stairs. Yeah. So I think this is going to be an area to kind of focus on really trying to get some good communication, maybe some answers, figure out who's up here, what's going on, yeah. um, and just kind of go from there before solos. Yeah. All right. So if there's anybody up here with us, my name's Steve. This is Dylan. We're friends of Carlos. He invited us out here tonight so we could come talk to you. That's all we're here to do. You're not in any trouble. We just want to learn more about you, this house. What's going on here? Any of these devices on the ground, if you get close to them, if you touch them, you wave your hand in front of them, they're going to light up and make some noise. If it's easier, feel free to knock on a wall. Just like that. Which one is that? I think it's that one, yeah. yeah. Right, Mel. Can you step away from that so it stops for a second, please? You step back and the noise will stop. Let us know you can hear us. Thank you. Okay. I just went off again and just blinked. Can you give us your name out loud? Can you yell? Can you knock on something? Can you close one of these doors or open the door? On the staircase here? We think we could hear you while we were downstairs. You're moving around a little bit. Sound like you were talking. You can do that even though we're up here. We should be able to hear you a little bit better now. Is there any particular room that you want us to go in? Where you hang out more? We have devices in pretty much every doorway down the hallway behind us. Can you show us where you want us to go? Where it's easier to talk to you? You got it? I can't tell what that was. Yeah. Can't tell where it came from though. Hello? It's definitely a voice. Can you speak up? Did you just hear that? Like whistling? It literally sounds like another voice. Listen, it literally sounds like somebody's talking. And guys, it's late. It's like 3 a.m. Yeah, and no one's up. I thought I heard like whistling like above us. Hello? Can you speak up as loud as you can? We can hear you. Behind you. Yeah. Can you knock on a door? Whichever one is closest to you? That's a car. Yeah. Outside. It'd be scary if a car was inside. Did you just move? What do you mean? Do you like. I shifted my weight like 20 Three, seconds yeah. ago. Like, I went from like here to here. And that's all I saw. What'd you see? Something went down the stairs. Like a down light. Down the stairs? Yeah, it was almost like a light. That's what threw me off. It was on that wall. It was like, that was actually super weird because it didn't light up the whole thing. 
it was just like a little light on the wall, but it wasn't like a circle. It was like a line and it went like that and it went straight down the stairs. That's actually super weird. And again, guys, we're filming an IR. So yeah. like this light is, you don't see this out in the real world. Like it's not reflecting off those windows like in the real world. Let's see, this is what we see. The only reason I can see the reflection on the window is because I have IR on. See how this light reflects? That's IR. Yeah. You, I can't see that with my eyes. So there's no way that a light was just thrown down there. That is super weird, actually. It literally looked like a light went right down those stairs. I mean, that's consistent with how all night has been, though. That's like they're avoiding Almost us. Almost avoiding us, right. Yeah. They got us upstairs, now they're going downstairs. Do you not want to talk to us? If you don't want to have a conversation, let us know. Bad news, we're spending a night here, but... Are you nervous? You don't have to be nervous. We understand this is kind of new. Can you come talk to us? We'd love to learn about you, what your favorite things are. Maybe next time we come back, we can bring you a snack, toy, whatever you like. Can you speak out loud and tell us what you want us to bring you? No, those voices are weird though. Yeah. I think we should do a couple EVP sessions up here. Do a quiet one again? Yeah. You go over towards the stairs a little bit. I'll go over towards the, uh, the scrying room. All right. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Ready? That was very vocal. Yeah, I'm gonna play that back. Why was that right at the beginning? What does that say? I don't know. There's a lot there, though. Yeah, I'm gonna play that one more time. It almost sounds like. It says like, that one loud word sounds like it says like, like killed, killed them or killed, killed them. Killed some, some yeah. yeah, it's like, I can't tell what that says. It's weird though. Killed something though. I don't know what it says. Weird, it's just like chattering. Yeah. There's constant talking, which is how it's been most of the night, but nothing like super, super clear. No. That's weird. You gotta think though, it's new to them. Maybe they don't yeah. fully well, understand. It hasn't it. even been a year yet since they've really been letting teams in here since he bought it. Yeah. They're not used to people directly interacting with them. Right. All right, let's ask a couple questions. See if we can get some direct responses. Yeah, get some straight up solid answers, nice and clear. All right, we're gonna ask you some questions now using these, okay? You guys are doing really well. We can hear you, we can hear you. You gotta come a little bit closer. Speak as loudly and as clearly as you can into these devices for us, okay? You're doing really good. Looks like a little silver box. We're gonna hold it in our hand. Here, I'll get down a little bit, okay? You wanna go over by those stairs? Yeah. Here, I'll squat down. We're gonna ask you a couple questions, all right? Come right over to me or Dylan and answer our questions, okay? Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Could you give us your name? Are you scared of us? Do you not like having visitors? 
Do you know who's biting or scratching people in the basement? Is there anything we can do to help you? Could you tell us how old you are? One, two, three, just because that's going to pick it up. Yeah. Can you step back from that so it stops, please? Just got to stand away a little bit. It'll stop making that noise. Thank you. Thank you. It's a little concerning. It was directly behind me. Yeah. I mean, you asked them to come up to it, though. So maybe yeah. they were hanging out in this room. In this room, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see. Again, it's just chattering. Yeah. It's nothing super clear. Right. A lot of it could be residual, too. Yeah, 100%. Let's see. Could you give us your name? Are you scared of them? Do you not like having visitors? You didn't hear that thud? Like in this room over here? I couldn't tell where it came from. It was a lot of movement though. I thought it was to my right. A lot of movement. It almost sounded like running. It was like boom, boom. Are you coming in to talk to us? Can you set off one of these devices on the ground? That's been the theme tonight though. It's like... Again, avoiding us, distant on the outskirts, running away. Yeah. Like it literally ran down the stairs and we got out there and ran away. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same thing earlier when we were in the basement. So it's go up, go up. You got to get right. out. You got to leave. We get up here and it's like they're running away again. Right. You hear footsteps. You can hear movement. Yeah. All right. Finish playing that. Play that back, play that back. It was like, get something. Is there anything we can do to help you? See, I thought I said, you can't help me. Play that back. Is there anything we can do to help you? You yeah, can't help, help is, me. Yeah. You can't help me. You can't help me. So that's intelligent, though. That's directly right. responding to us. Right. Well, maybe that's whatever came right up to this at the end. Right. You can't help me. Interesting. Weird. But the first direct response we got. Yeah. But again, those footsteps, the light I saw going down the stairs, I mean, that, that looked like a light, like, I can't even describe it. It was like a, it wasn't a circle. It was almost like a, like a, it's like a beam, mm -hmm. but it didn't light up the whole thing. Right. It was just in one particular spot on the wall, and it like went right down the stairs. It was super weird. Super, super weird. But if something's avoiding us and running back downstairs, and something downstairs is telling us to come upstairs, yeah. perfect time to do solos. Split up. One person goes in the basement. Good times. And I'll stay up here. Oh, good. Well, I was already out kind yeah. of by myself in the basement, so Makes they, sense. they don't want to talk to me anymore. So uh -huh. you head on down there. I'll stay up here. We'll do our solos up here, and then we'll uh, try to get some sleep Yeah. in, in Beale Manor. We're sleeping in here tonight, guys. So even when the investigation ends, it we're doesn't still end. Be here. Yeah, it doesn't end. We're still sleeping. So we'll do our solos, and then we will wrap this up tomorrow morning once we wake up. So good luck in the basement. I'm up here. See you in a little while. See what happens. Let's do it. 
All right, guys, if you've been enjoying tonight's investigation and all this crazy activity we've been having, don't forget, drop down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so you are notified every single time we upload. You do not want to miss any of these investigations we have coming up. So don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get back into it. All right, guys, it is that time. He's heading down to the basement. He's got a REM pod. He's got a music box. He's got his DR60, and he's got an extra little flashlight. I have basically the same thing. I have a millimeter REM pod, flashlight, and my DR60. You're going down to hang out with the biter. Should be fun. Hope you enjoy, enjoy that. You have a little guy who uh, runs down the hallway. Um, it's the hallway yeah. The I already saw the light go down the stairs, and now I get to deal with a shadow figure that darts in and out of rooms here. Yeah, that should be fun, right? Can't wait. Why do we do solos again? Uh, I don't know. For them. Just yes. for them. It's all for you guys. We did the Alone series. You guys enjoyed it. So now we put ourselves through hell every video and do solos in places like this that we don't want to do solos in. And when we finish the solos, this is not the end of our night. When we turn off the cameras, we're sleeping in this location. Somewhat. We got to try to sleep somewhere. Yeah. yeah. We'll see how it goes. But it is that time, guys. It is time for solos. Your favorite part of the night. So he's heading down to the basement. I'm staying up here. We're going to see how it goes. Yeah. All right. All right. Good luck down there. And I'll uh, see you in a little while if you survive. Guess Good we'll luck. find out. I'm gonna turn my flashlight so I don't fall on the stairs. That's fair. Bye now. Oh, yeah, close that. That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. All right, door's closed. Yikes. All right, guys. It is creepy. It is creepy up here, guys. So I guess I'll go in the same area where they were, where we were, rather. We did the Estes. I have my flashlight on right now just so I can move her around. But I have a feeling it's going to suck down here. So it's going to be awesome. So I think what we're going to do is focus on some EVPs up here. Um, see if we can get some more direct answers. We've only gotten like one direct answer tonight. A lot of other things have been kind of almost residual sounding. But we have gotten a lot of chatter. There's been a lot of talking. There's been a lot of noise on the EVPs. But not a lot of direct responses. So, I don't know. It's been a super bizarre night. The flashlight over here. It's kind of high up, though. Especially with their kids. Oh, that has not gone off all night. Yo, actually, hold on. That's crazy. That has not gone off all night. Oh, that's icky. Right? It's, it's been a weird night. Um, I had whatever it was like run its fingers down the back of my neck on the first floor. It was a really odd sensation. It didn't feel like somebody like dragged three fingers across. It was like they did like that, like one, two, three, just like that down the back of my neck. It was really, really bizarre. The light I saw going down the stairs was weird. The cold breezes in the basement. I mean, it's been a weird night. It really has. The footsteps we were hearing up here, the voices, the knocks, the bangs. I mean, it's it's really impressive um, for a newer location that it's had this much activity. So I'm interested to see what we get now that we split up because it does seem like whatever was in the basement wanted us upstairs and whatever, whatever was up here has been avoiding us running downstairs. Um, we could hear the footsteps when we were on the first floor up here. We come up here and it seems like they go downstairs. So we'll see now as we're split up kind of what we get in these two different areas. That was right behind me. That noise was directly behind me. That has not gone off all night, so that's actually pretty freaking scary, considering now that we're alone. Um, hope Steve's having a great time up there, though. So I set up the flashlight on top of that right there. Um, got the music box in the hallway. And uh, also got the... How? That has not gone off all night. Can you step away for a second so that... Oh. All right, guys, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump right in. Uh, we'll do an EVP session. I wanna start with a quiet one, I think, up here. But I think what I wanna do is I wanna step into this room. So this REM pod might go off as I walk past it, but I wanna step into this room. All right, can you, can you step away for a second, please? Just so that stops, so I can ask you a question. Thank you so much. Are you one of the kids that was here? I just got full body chills, dude. Oh, that's freaky. Dude, I literally just got down here. What is happening? 
Did you work here? Hold on, can you step away for a second? So I can ask you another question, please? Thank you. That's crazy. Did you work here? Okay, thank you so much. That's freaking nuts, actually. All right, so this room, they have set up a scrying mirror. So scrying is when you sit in the dark with like candlelight and you stare into a mirror and you start to see things in the mirror. People see like shadows moving behind them, weird reflections, stuff like that. So they set that up in here. This room is substantially colder. Like actually wicked cold in here. That's awful. That's bizarre. This whole house has central heat and air, guys. Like it's not, it's climate controlled. It is freezing in this room. Freezing. Were you here before the 1950s? So you were here after the 1950s? What? That's so cool. Thank you so much. That's not going off all night. What is happening right now? Can you step away, please, for a second? Just so I can ask you another question. Thank you. Do you like the military? Do you like the army? Can you see the sweatshirt that I'm wearing? All right, we're gonna start out with a quiet EVP session in here. I can't get over how cold it is in this room. Like I'm actually shivering. It's really, really cold. I have like goosebumps in here. And I've been fine all night because it's, we have the heat set to like 70 degrees in here. It's not bad. So let's do a quiet session. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Dude, can you hear all these knocks? That was loud. All right, guys, let's see what we got. Let's play this back. What? What? We'll play the whole thing back, play the whole thing back. That's a whole sentence. That is literally a whole sentence. Don't. I have no idea what that says. That's a whole sentence though. I have no idea what that says. That's like knocks on the tables that are down here. Are you knocking on the tables down here? That was loud. That's really too bad. So again, hello. My name is Steve. I've been up here for a little while now. Dylan's in the basement. We've come here to talk to you. We don't mean you any harm. You're not in trouble. You don't have to leave. We're allowed to be here. We have permission. We really just came to talk to you and connect with you. Do you know what year it is? Is it 2023 for you? That was like a voice. Do you know what year it is? Is it 2023 for you? That was like a voice. Do you know what year it is? Is it 2023 for you? That was like a voice. I don't know what that was. Steve is two floors above me right now. Oh, dude, I have the worst chills right now. Do you have anything you want to share with us? I'm hearing movement out there. I'm going to step out in the hall. Let this mic go off. I'm hearing movement. squat down again because that seemed to work before that's when the rem pod went off 
And again, if they're kids, they're young kids, you know, they might be intimidated by two adults in here. Well, I'm an adult, Dylan's not, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna set up um, the REM pod now, the things of, hello? I heard a voice. Hello? I heard a voice. Hello? I heard a voice, dude. That was loud. Can you hear my voice? If you can hear my voice, can you knock on something? Just tap on the wall, tap on one of these windows, maybe one of the doors. Um, maybe what I can do right now is try some DR60, um, you know, try some EVPs, see if they want to talk to me that way. Um, that was really, really weird though, considering the music box has not gone off at all, all of tonight. That was really cool. I feel like I'm going to do another EVP session, but I'm going to ask some questions out here. See what we can get because I feel like whatever's up here, if it is a kid from when this was the developmental home, um, maybe they're more. I just heard footsteps. I literally just heard footsteps in this room right to my left. Right there. I could hear them creaking on the floor. Oh, wow, that was weird. It literally sounded like somebody was approaching that door. Three. Two, one. Again, my name's Dylan. Can you tell me your name? Hello? All right, I'm gonna do some EVPs out here, but I'm gonna ask questions. Because again, I think if it is kids from the developmental home, they're probably more likely to interact when it's just one-on-one. -on -one. They might not feel as intimidated. Can you tell me what year it is for you? For me, it's 2023 right now. Do you like having visitors? All right, so we're gonna ask a couple questions now. Here we go. Carlos said he saw a young gentleman with red hair and a suit on. Can I have your name? Here, I'm going to cut that just in case it picks it up. That's so weird though. That did not go on that entire time. Can you step away please so that stops? Just step to the side of the hallway. They'll stop playing that music. Oh, I feel like something touched my hand. That was weird. It's like a bug on it or anything. Oh, that was bizarre. It was like a finger just went across my hand. Oh, that is actually really weird. I do not like that. Can you step away so that stops, please? I want to listen to this back. See if I picked up your voice. Can you tell me how old you are? Can you hear that noise? Do you know what that is? When we sleep here tonight, are you going to mess with us while we're trying to sleep? We've heard you like to play pranks. One, two, three. Let's play this back. I see what Steve means about like the jump scare down here though. I feel like something's going to like pop out this hallway. That's why I haven't taken my eyes off of it. Alright, let's listen. It's like two syllables. Again, my name's Dylan. Can you tell me your name? 
it's something. Again, why are you doing? Can you tell me your name? I don't know. It sounds like it's just high. I don't know. Nothing really too clear. I'm going to try again without the music box, um, just because it did interfere with it a little bit. Oh, God. If that's you, can you step away? Step back for a second, and it'll stop making that noise. You can come over here and talk to me. Perfect. Thank you. Very good. You did great. I'm going to play this back now, okay? See if you said anything. Hopefully. All right, I'm going to play this back now, see if you said anything, okay? You did great with that. Carlos said he saw a young gentleman with red hair and a suit on. Can I have your name? Can you tell me how old you are? Do you hear that noise? Do you know what that is? When we sleep here tonight, are you going to mess with us while we're trying to sleep? We heard you like to play pranks. Nothing. Interesting. Three, two, one. Again, my name's Dylan. Can you repeat your name maybe a little bit louder? So this can pick it up? This is such a weird investigation because, again, it's a newer spot to the paranormal world. So not a ton of teams have been here, but they're starting to get quite a few in here now that it's been almost a year. So they're getting used to the equipment. They like to mess around with stuff. EVPs and I haven't been that clear but we've heard these footsteps these voices that light i saw i felt fingers on the back of my neck the cold chills the estes session it's been an active night but it's been a different kind of activity that i think we're used to and that i think we were anticipating you know we're used to evps answering questions direct responses class a clear things we're getting a lot of talking tonight but it's not clear it's not close it's not directly answering a lot of our questions, but we're hearing these disembodied voices farther away. We're hearing the footsteps upstairs. We're hearing the knocks, the doors moving, all of this stuff. So it's, again, it's been active, but it's been a very different type of investigation and a very different activity than at least I was expecting coming into it. Very, very different than what I thought we were gonna get in this kind of location. It's been really kind of interesting. Did you touch my hand a minute ago? That's okay if you did. You're not in any trouble. Do you have a message for us? Something we need to know? We're going to be going to bed pretty soon. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to do another EVP session. Um, I'm going to move over towards this doorway, towards that hall where the shadow figure is supposed to be, and we'll ask a couple questions over there. Let's see. Here we go. One, two, three. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? One, two, three. I have to end this because I heard a voice. I literally just heard a voice from over here. I heard a voice come from this room right here. All right, listen back. I'm gonna have to turn that music box back on again before I leave, just so I'm not a liar. See if it's a little bit clearer though, maybe. I don't know. Something 
need to know. We're going to go to bed pretty soon. I can't make it out. Again, it's not really clear. It's like, I don't know. Responses to every question, but nothing too crazy. Oh my God, that actually made my eyes like water. I gotta go in here for a second, hold on. Hello? That sounded like a little kid. That sounded just like a little kid in this room. I, I faintly could hear it. And it literally sounded like a little kid went, mom, like they called out for mom. It was just like that. Oh, that was really kind of weird. I'm going to play that one question back and then I'm going to do an EVP session in here. Can you see me? <laughs> oh. Good. I'll try to see if they can say good night. Um, and then I'm going to turn the music box back on, see if they want to talk that way. And it's going to be time to head upstairs and get some sleep. All right. Three. Two, one. We're gonna be heading upstairs pretty soon. Can you say good night or goodbye? Well, I think we marked that room off the list of where we're gonna to sleep tonight. Won't be in there. Won't. Yikes. God, I hope he's having a terrible time in the basement. I gotta do an EVP session in here. That sounded like a little kid said mom. It was like, mom. That was bizarre. I'm gonna walk over here a little bit. This room feels weird. I actually really don't like the feeling of this room. Yeah, I don't like it in here. All right, let's see. Hopefully, say good night. Usually they're pretty good about that. Um, it seems like they've been avoiding us all night though. So, I don't know, it'll be interesting to see. We're gonna be heading upstairs pretty soon. Can you say good night or goodbye? What? We're gonna be heading upstairs pretty soon. Can you say good night or goodbye? Beats me. I'm playing that one more time. We're gonna be heading upstairs pretty soon. Can you say good night or goodbye? It almost sounds like it said like two different voices at the same time. One said good night, one said goodbye. There's something at the end. I have no clue what that was. We're gonna squat down here and do an EVP session because I literally I just heard a little kid in here go, Mom, just like that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask some questions in here. One, two, three. Did I just hear you? Did you call out to your mom? Do you miss your mom? How old are you? Are you afraid? One, two, three. I just, I can't believe that the music box went off at all. That has not gone off once all night. That was crazy. That was a lot of movement. I don't know what that was. All right. Well, thank you for talking to us. So before we started the solos, I was like, we're definitely sleeping on the second floor. Um, it's got the most curtains. It's going to stay the darkest. It didn't feel that uncomfortable earlier. It didn't feel that uncomfortable earlier. Um, this solo has changed my mind. It is weird up here. Like this room feels really, really weird. For some reason, like I got that little, that voice I just heard saying, mom, I don't think there's a kid in here. 
I, I just don't. I don't know if that was a residual noise I heard, but I do not feel like there's a kid in this room. It doesn't feel childish. Whatever that energy is that I'm feeling right now, it doesn't feel like a little kid at all. I'm going to play this back. Did I just hear you? Did you call out to your mom? Do you miss your mom? How old are you? Are you afraid? Nothing super clear again. That was crazy, actually. That freaked me out. Dang. That's cool. I think whatever's in this building, whatever's in this house, there's a couple things going on. There's some intelligent stuff, there's some residual stuff, and they're kind of just coexisting, right? Like the residual stuff you're hearing, you're hearing the footsteps, you're hearing the knocks, the doors, all that kind of stuff from when it was active facility. But then you have, the, you have the intelligent stuff, the shadow figures darting in and out of the halls, the things that are moving chairs and doing all of that, moving objects. There's intelligent activity here. The things that are scratching people, like that is an intelligent, that's an intelligent spirit that's doing that. That's not a residual energy that is doing that. Whatever's in this room could be residual energy, but it's an uncomfortable energy. Whatever's in here doesn't feel good. It doesn't make you feel wanted in this area. I don't like being on this floor. I don't like being in this room. Even though I heard what sounds like a little kid call for their mom, that, again, to me, that I'm leaning, that noise might be more residual. Whatever I'm feeling in here is not residual. There is some sort of energy in here that does not want me in here right now, um, and it's trying to get me out, trying to intimidate me, trying to make me uncomfortable. It just doesn't want me in this room. It's, it's weird. The EVPs we've gotten all night, not super clear, but they're there. There's a lot of chatter. We've gotten a couple clear answers, but most of them have just been like sentences and talking. We've been hearing disembodied voices all night, footsteps all night. I saw that weird light, the touch on my neck. I mean, it's been a crazy night. It really, really has. It's been absolutely crazy. And now we get to go to bed. So we get to sleep in this house tonight. We will wrap this up in the morning, guys. We'll let you know if anything crazy happened while we were going to bed, but Lights out, time for bed. All right guys, that's a wrap at our night here at the Haunted Beale Manor in Fremont, Ohio. We had a pretty weird night. I feel like they're trying to avoid us pretty much the entire night. Yeah, it was a completely different type of activity than I was expecting coming in here. You know, usually we get a lot of these EVPs that we can make out, clear senses. We were getting a lot of EVPs, but it was just chattering. We couldn't really make them out. But the number of disembodied voices, the footsteps, that weird light I saw, I mean, it was active, it was just not what I expected it to be. Yeah, so I think we need to come back here and maybe catch it when it's um, intelligent. I feel like we got a lot of residual stuff, but maybe um, on a return trip, we can get some intelligent activity where they're more apt to talk to us. Maybe they're just a little nervous to talk to us or something. Yeah, this is know. still so new to them. It's yeah. not even been a year yet that they've been open for investigation. So they're still feeling it out. I think we come back again another time. We can get some more answers, kind of figure out who is here, why they're here, what they want. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's get on the road and uh, let's get to our next spot. Let's do it.